Okay. Okay, just installed a new Ozzy Advanced Gateway. I'm gonna configure it. We just powered it up. Three things you gotta do. Set the appropriate bus address, accept the Ozzy network, and, the, and then set the IP address. We're gonna do it. Ready? Here we go. Set the appropriate bus. This is address number four. Go down, go to appropriate bus, DP address, enter four, whoops, wrong one. One, two, three, four, okay, okay, so that's set. Next thing, accept the Aussie network right here. All right, so I'm back at the main menu right here. Go down to Aussie, hit okay. Go all the way down to where it says the actual is what's desired. So what's actually out there is desired. So yep, are you sure you wanna take it? Yep, do it. So we took that, all right. And then the last thing is the address. So go back to the main menu, go to Ethernet IP address, okay, with the settings. Okay, we gotta we gotta get it at right now it's DHCP is automatically configured. We gotta disable that. Alright. And now we can set the IP address manually. So go down to IP address. This address is 172 dot 28 which would be 2 8 98 98 dot 1 4 1 and hit OK OK and then go down to our subnet mask it's 255.255.255.0. So we've got to ch change this. Whoops. 255. Okay, okay, okay. And that's it. We're done. It's all set. Clear the air on the DCS, and this thing will be, it'll be ready to run.